Okay, guys, I've been here. Um, today, let's model this stairs. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, first, uh, let's create a project. Okay, so um, stairs. So architecture, stairs. And we're going to just use, I'll just use this uh, default um, stairs and here, so you can use this one, so four step spiral. Okay, so click on this, and then we can just uh, create a stair. So actually, let me just go back here. So see this this uh, uh, structure, so column. Uh, let's guess uh, 100 mil diameter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so I'll create this stairs, but I want to change this round to round left. Okay, so round left. And then, which means we can see this one, this will be the left of the stairs. So what I want uh, to have is one, oh, hang on, 100 diameter will be 50 50 uh yeah uh fail sorry because that's too um it's too the to the radius is too small we can't have that support so that's fine we can just delete them we don't really need them so here so if you go to edit type so change this to none we don't need support okay so and okay and let's do it again so a uh, full step spiral left good I just place it here and I go to 50 okay so now we have, let's go to 3d view and this is it and let's finish and so uh, um, let's just uh, hide the, the railing for now okay so first we just need to uh, what is this uh, railing let's just delete it okay so first we just need to add a column to it so you can you can use a structure column or you can just model in place um, I'm going to use um, yeah, it's up to you. You can use a structure. You can create a structure column. And so extrusion circle. And I'm going to use SC to pick the center point of this circle, 50. And I'll just uh, make it four meter high. Finish, finish. Go to 3D view and this is it. So of course, if you want it to go up higher, just drag it. Okay, so now we have this uh, this structure in the middle, and then let's have a look of this image. So um, looks like we need to remove the uh, riser. So edit type, and so here run type. Okay, so click on here. So that's a little box remove the riser remove it okay so and also um while we're here so let's just change the thickness of the the thread so um maybe i'll ch change it to five because uh these looks very thin <laughs> maybe 10. and also if you want yeah you can change the material here so okay and okay so okay good so it looks like it's very thin here um i think yeah that's i think it's very it's 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 quite good i think it's similar to that okay so now we need to if you look at um here so i'm not sure if you can see there's some support here so on, under each of these steps so there is a 
a support a vertical so see triangular shape support so um, I don't think we can we can directly we can create it in this stairs so what I um, come up with is to create a face based family so let me just quickly create a modular model face based so what I'm thinking is we can just create a face based like this shape and place it directly under each uh, thread okay so okay so let's do it so let's go to maybe left okay so here and then I'll create an execution so I guess we need to have roughly maybe 700 maybe and also we need a little depths here and maybe a little bit more here um, I guess something like this maybe like this okay and also the thickness so if I finish this one and, the, and if we go to floor plan it was oh that's very too thick okay so let's just make it very thin maybe 10 mil on each size so 10 and a negative 10 will will give us 20 mil so 20 mil still quite thick maybe let's make it 10 okay so negative 5 so okay so let's have a look and then let's load this into here so go to 3d view place on face and see if we can place it here so let's try um hangs um it doesn't look right let's try to okay so if you okay if i place it roughly to this corner so, so see the mid midpoint the triangular shape and press space and that's it so you will see yeah it's a little bit tricky so let's do it again move first so it pr uh, at first it will probably won't align to your st um, tread so you will see so it's currently it's quite random angle but you just need to move to this edge so you see see this triangular shape if you move to the midpoint of this this arc and see this little triangular shape once you see this triangular shape press your space bar so space and it will rotate eventually match the direction of this step okay and then place it and then you can just place it so actually it remembers it remembers the direction of this family relative to this this step so it will be in the middle so you don't need to do the space again so see uh, you, you can continue place one two three you don't even need to, need to use the space bar again so just place all these onto the midpoint oh it's a little bit oh why is here so let me just delete this one and create another one yeah so see now it's not aligned to the step so you just need to space and space again okay and then all good so go back to normal and almost almost there and that's last one okay so that's it so you'll see it's a little bit work manual work but it's very easy to fin uh, to do it okay so yeah and then the the railings the railings uh, 
type let's type hr so this is the default uh, railing so let's create or just uh, duplicate okay so let's create a new one so try to match this one so we can see these are i think it's a circular a circular sorry circular shape so very thin um, we can just uh, before we because uh, before we change these because we currently we don't have any of uh, those profiles so you can see it's 40 mil it's very you know uh, very too big so we need to go create some uh, profiles first okay so go on the family on the family so go to profile so we need to find some uh, cir circular uh, profile so I think this one so this one's for handrail so circular um, maybe not maybe not this one so this is the profile I believe circular handrail um, not sure probably the same so let's try to create a new one here okay so right click duplicate let's type 10 mil and double click it and change this to 10 mil diameter okay so okay so we have this this can I think this can be used for handrail but we still need profile for a baluster so let's have a look um, so maybe we can just go to railing yeah I know it's it's a it's quite confusing because all of these profiles and the railings so it's it's a little bit confusing but so here so plaster 20 mil so let's right click duplicate and create a 10 mil and double click on the 10 mil change this to 10 mil so you can also change change the material here if you want to and click OK so now we have all both uh, settings so we can go edit type so let's just create a new one so I'll call it new and I'll go to first we want to change this so this is top rails okay so go here and create a new so no maybe we can create a new from start from this one it's a, a circular one so duplicate c10 okay so circular 10 mil okay go to here profile so we just need to find the one we just did we created so 10 mil so this one so and so if you want to change material it's here and I think that's it so click OK OK and you will see this one's very thin circular uh, rail so then the balusters so go to edit type so balusters all here okay edit so for this one we we probably we don't need um, do we need the first one so these are the the, the beginning uh, the start post is this one or the other one so I'm um, depending on which one which part which end is start and post okay so let's just uh, get rid of them and also corner is when you have a, a, a hand a railing so it's like like and there's a corner in between so con continuous but change of direction so that's the corner one it's this setting so I'll just del delete all these remove all these because we don't for this one we don't need so this is a continuous or on step on tr the treads so it is using this setting so see this one use balusters per tread on steps but interesting it's interesting interestingly we can't do much about the number here so I'm not sure how to change so first I want to change this to first around 10 mil okay so apply you will see that it becomes very thin 
uh, looks like we need to click OK and apply here. So yeah, so go back to the bus placement. So we so see here we have two, but I think probably we will consider this as two trades. So there's four here. See, but if I change this to one, apply OK, apply, it becomes two. So it looks like it's always double the the number of this setting. So so actually what we need is three. Um, it's close to this because actually in here it's continued from this to to the top one. Um, no, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> So if you figure out how to do the setting, please let me know. Okay. Or otherwise, I think the only thing I can do is uh, modeling place, but that would be no too much. So I guess I think I'll just leave it as one. So looks quite similar to this at least. And I think that's that's it. So. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.